Okay, so my name's Jay Sky. I'm here with an actual legend in the Manchester scene. You all know him as Sasha, and we're at Park Life Festival 2017. Day number two. Day number two, so I, I am slightly subdued. Okay. Because it's day number two. Yeah. And I know you're in touch with your feminine side. I'm the masculine side. And your masculine side, but as the two of us today, oh, I'm right. the one wearing the most makeup, I assure you. <laughs> You've got yeah. a lot of um, eye makeup going on, haven't you? So you should, can, I, can you tell? It's lovely, it's very natural. <laughs> Um, speaking about makeup and fashion then, obviously people wear all sorts of festivals. What do you make of the, the dress code? Does it like tick your boxes? Do you know, we're, so with Park Life there is no dress code. That's yeah. why I love Park Life. Yeah. Because um, even this morning I was in traffic on the, on the way and I was looking at the kids, what they were wearing. Yeah. They don't give a toss. No. You know, <laughs> and, and it's, you know, we've got people here from all different demographics. <laughs> Or, you know, it doesn't matter whether you're a student, whether you're a professional, the people are just here to have fun. And I yeah. don't think, obviously I was out yesterday and, and you know, some girls who have really clammed up and made an effort. And yeah. there are some other girls that they, you know, they clearly haven't made an effort. Yeah. They don't give a shit. It's They're nice. just here to have a great time. And that's what I really like about Part Life. And it's a similar attitude that we have at Warehouse Project as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. In fact, well, speaking about kids and Warehouse Project, I know you should never really ask a parent to pick the favourite child. But what do you prefer, Park Life or Warehouse Project? Uh, well, naturally, I have to say Warehouse Project. Yeah. Park Life's fun, it's two days, but Warehouse yeah. Project's the baby. Yeah, yeah. Park Life wants to exist in Warehouse, and it's existed. Uh, so when you did create Park Life, did you ever imagine it'd be like it is today? No, I mean, it, uh, so in 2010, it was one day, Platt Fields, 20,000 people. Yeah. It's now two days, Heaton Park, 80,000 people a day. I mean, it's, it's nuts. It's a fluke, a complete fluke. Well, a great fluke as well, and it's great for Manchester. Yesterday we had a very touching moment. I nearly cried and up and alive where you paid homage to the people who helped out during the atrocities of the day. You had all of the emergency services on stage, you had the ex-mayor, the current mayor. How did that feel? I mean, that must have been a big moment for you personally. It's, I mean, I, I wanted to do something really special that would um, be a voice for the young kids. Yeah. So we're like 17 to 23. And there have been some amazing tributes in Manchester. I was at the Ariana Grande show last yeah. week, which was yeah. fantastic. But then, to me, that was more of an international platform. And yeah. I wanted, I felt Park Life was the biggest youth voice since the incident. Yeah, yeah. So luckily, Andy, the, the mayor, and the councillors, and the paramedics, and the, the doctors, and the nurses, and the police, and the security, the first attended all to hear what do it. And it was just amazing. And the crowd reaction was. I, I was holding tears back. I'm not surprised. Yeah, I, like was, I say, I nearly started crying myself. Yeah, no, it, was, yeah. it was good. And they all started singing Don't Look Back in Anger, yeah. which I thought was good. No, it was a very touching moment for Manchester. Um, speaking about Manchester, there's not many people who have been able to touch politics and music events like you have. Um, obviously, with the current political climate, how do you feel about the city? I mean, the city's red. The city will always be red. Yeah. Um, it's going nowhere. <laughs> get into politics but yeah, I think yeah. you know the current the current government or what it's gonna look like in the next couple of weeks is actually a bit of a joke to be honest. Yeah. And I think there's, there's a, a rising now where um, nobody expected Corbyn to lead the party the way it has and I think you know hats off to him. Yeah. I think it's a disgrace that kids have to live off six P a day for the breakfast oh, in schools. Yeah, and, uh, I think it's a disgrace the way the NHS is in crisis at the moment yeah. and I think um, something has to be done about it. Definitely. With that being said, it's great to see that music is still uniting everybody. Everyone's really? still having a great time. It brings right? everybody together. Yeah. Um, you know, and I think you know, it always does, and especially our genre of music. Yeah. You know, I remember the, the days of uh, the Hacienda when you used to go oh, in gosh, there. Yeah. You know, it, why do you say gosh? Because I that's like, old, you know. No, no, it's not gosh, it's like that is what I'm so gutted to have missed out on. I mean, obviously now they're just apartments, but like, you look at the Hacienda and it sounded amazing. It, it was amazing, yeah. but you know, it's very similar uh, philosophy to warehouse projects or part life. It doesn't matter who you are, what you are, what you wear, yeah. uh, how much you earn, whether you're on the dole, it doesn't matter. Everybody yeah. comes together for this one moment on this one special occasion. That's, that's what's really nice about it. Okay, so we've got all of these different genres here, all of these different stages and tents. Yeah. Do you still get excited about certain people coming down? And if so, who excites you the most about Park Plan 2017? You know, I, I never, I never, really, Sam, my business partner, yeah. he deals more with the artists. Yeah. I never really get blown away by the artists. Yeah. Um, so the performances I want to see today, uh, and it's not necessarily my, my type of music, because yeah. I want to, you know, 
the, the hype and hysteria about it is Stormzy. Oh God, I can't uh, wait. <laughs> and, and obviously Frank Ocean, then everybody's everybody's been telling me the last few weeks oh he's not turning up he's not turning up <laughs> I know he's turning up yeah, yeah. but I've not been able to say he's turning up but yeah. you know it's, it's going to be really special tonight Amazing. really special I think special moments yesterday yeah, 1975 the way they connected with the audience was yeah. incredible yeah. Uh, that guy's as skinny as you he's beautiful I was watching him perform when he was shaking his hips I thought he's a bit I, of me I was watching him and I was thinking you're Russell Brand's son no because I used to love Russell Brand back in the day. Yeah, yeah I thought yeah. it was hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, before we finish, I just want to ask you, like, looking back on your whole journey with Warehouse Project yeah. and Pipeline, what have been your highlights, apart from last night, obviously? Um, I mean, the tribute last night, I'll never forget. I yeah. think there aren't... I think the high... There's not been a highlight. I think okay. the moment is still to come. Right. I think, you know, what, what, a, what Samurai wants to achieve, we're still there to it. Yeah. We're trying to yeah. achieve it. It's not happening yet. Brilliant. Well, you heard so, it first. Because you're a fashionista, tell me about your outfit today. All right. Okay. So yeah. my look today is very inspired by typical nostalgic J. Scar. I've gone for a little bit of floral, and then we've got every colour under the sun because I'm very much feeling a little bit of a spiritual vibe today. It makes me think of Joseph. Joseph's Joseph great. Joseph's technical and dream coat. Well, Joseph's a biblical name, and my real name, between me and you, is actually Jason, another biblical name. I believe so. So, yeah, I'm trying to stick to my biblical roots. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've gone for this look, but a lot of my looks, I always think, I want to look a bit like Mortal Kombat, Kill Bill, Terminator, what would I look like in a film in the 90s, basically. So, I always try and think of that when I'm styling myself. I might try and go for the, the bit where you show your midriff. Shall we do an outfit swap later? No, definitely <laughs> not. <laughs> Thank you so much for the interview. You are a legend. Thank and you. hopefully next year I would love to perform here. As you know, it's a dream come true. Well, you, keep, you keep DMing yeah. me so maybe. Yeah. Yeah. That's it, guys. The secret to success is sliding to the DMs. It's been Jay Sky and Sasha at Park Life 2017. Stay tuned, guys.